Hi guys and welcome to 123 Maya T's video where we take a look at the iRobot Robot Vacuum 637. The iRobot Roomba RoboVac comes in six different models and each model has a slightly better features such as scheduling, Wi-Fi connection and tangle free brushes. The model that we have here today is the base model Roomba 637. Prices start around $200 and go all the way up to $600. That's USD. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. So, this looks like the docking station where the robot charges its battery. First thing here is you get the uh, instructions and you can see it wants you to plug in the little docking station charging uh, station to the PowerPoint on the wall. In the documentation here it says there's a little clip that needs to be pulled out from underneath the, the robot. So we'll have to do that. And it says plug it in, put it onto charge and plug the robot or the charger into the wall for charging. Number five, press the button on top to clean. Owner's guide. Let's have a look at this real quick. Tells you a little bit about battery charging. Instructions, positioning the home base, setting the clock. Next up, it seems we get a little filter. I'm guessing that goes on the robot somewhere. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Power cable, obviously to plug into your charging station there, like so. And if you're in the US, you'll get a US uh, plug adapter. In other countries, you'll get the right adapter for that. And then the robot itself. So, pretty heavy. Take the plastic off the outside. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the top. Spot clean dock buttons on the top. What this is, is a, whether it's a handle or what. Have a look underneath. Put this battery, I guess we just pull this out. Bit of plastic there. And the main cleaning rolls lift up. I guess this just comes out, you can clean those off. That one and that one. And this is the little dust filter on the end here. I'm too sure how to take that off. Maybe you have to use the button on top. Press that one, it slides off. You can change dust filter. So the dust filter, so it comes with a spare one. This looks like a little, a little tool that you use to Kind of clean your Roomba up. There's a little blade in there. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's a blade in there that you can use to you know, cut hair and things that get caught in it. It says slide the blade along the brush to cut the wrapped hair. Comb the hair off the brush. Use the point to remove the dirt from the brush bearings. Okay. All right. So let's get it started. So you can see I've run the power cable to the docking station, and the docking station is right here in front of the dog door. So there's my dog there, that's Bean. She's a 16 year old Foxy. And I've basically put it in front of the dog door so that the, the Robovac doesn't run up the dog door and go out. So the sensor here on the docking station will actually stop it from uh, going around this kind of area here. So the next step here is you just press clean twice and that will start the RoboVac. But you might need to do a few other things uh, in, the, in the area that you want to clean first of all. The other thing I've noticed is it can get tangled in cables such as this. So if you've got an area that you just don't want the RoboVac to go, or it could be steps, or it could be you know just cables that you don't want to get it tangled, you can actually use this. And this is just the virtual wall, they call it. And if you have a look on the side here, it tells you, okay, the RoboVac, if you've got dog bowls or dog dishes or something like that, you don't want the RoboVac to go into, it can do like a semicircle around things. So for example, if I wanted to do the, the semicircle around something, I would just push the button down to that semicircle, place it in front of the area, and it will the RoboVac actually won't go near those cables now. If you've got some stairs as well, and you don't want the RoboVac to go there, what you can do is you can use this to just create a long wall. So it says here about 10 feet to three meters that it will cover. And if you just turn the button upwards, you face this wherever you want it to go. So if you just want to put it there like so, that should stop the RoboVac from, from going down the stairs there. But obviously if you can 
If you don't have to use that, the best method might be just to push the door closed. Same goes for kids' toys. Any little toys and things, put them away uh, so they don't get caught with the Robovac. So if you kind of think about it this way, uh, the same thing when you're vacuuming. If there's things in the road, you're not going to be able to vacuum the surface very well. So if you just clear away any clutter that is around the place before you turn on the Robovac, then you know, go out, do your shopping for an hour, come back and you'll have really clean, uh, nice floors. The other place where I did see the Robovac get caught was in amongst under chairs where you have the chairs too, too close together. What can happen is if you have the chairs too close together, it can kind of go in at one angle and then just get stuck and just can't find its way out. So if you pull the chairs apart, um, like just move one chair back and move that back a little bit, and then it will be able to go in and out without any problems. Okay, so let's start up, see how it goes. If you have a look at the video here, you'll see two little pink things on the floor there to the left of the Robovac. They're actually flowers that have fallen off a plant that's sitting on top of the fridge. And you, if you watch closely, the Robovac does a good job to pick them up. I was also pretty impressed with the way the Robovac can get into the corners. So you watch the Robovac here. It goes up along the line of the fridge there, sweeping anything in its path. Then it goes around the fridge, finds another wall, comes out a little bit there, but then goes back in and goes past the kids' uh, kitchen set and then straight underneath the couch. And look at the line that it does underneath the couch. So for me, that's pretty impressive. I mean, that's got to clean everywhere underneath that couch there. Alrighty, so if we have a look on the top here, you've got some other options here. So you've got this spot clean, which you can just uh, press that and it will just do circles in the spot and clean one, one specific spot. Um, if you want to stop it from moving, you can just press clean again and that will stop it like it is now. So it's in the middle of the floor and it's just stopped. And then the one down the bottom here, or the last option is dock. So you can just hit that dock button and the next time it goes past the docking station, it will just automatically dock. Let's press the spot function and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that spot seemed to work. It went around in circles and we've just hit clean to stop it again. Now I'm gonna hit the dock and see what happens. So I just wanted to show you an example of the Roomba hitting the virtual wall there and then turning around and heading in the other direction. Okay, so after about an hour of vacuuming, uh, the Robovac will return to its base. Let's just have a look and see if it's picked up any dust. So you can see there's quite a bit of stuff in there. A lot of dog hair from Bean and also there's some uh, flour 
flower petals that dropped off one of our plants there and a few other so it's really picked up a lot of a lot of uh dog hair and a lot of uh dust and stuff off the floor so it's done a really good job and it's a pretty amazing product when you consider that you know the time saved so i've had the robo vac for two weeks now and would i recommend it i would definitely recommend it i think it's a great product i've been really impressed with the robo vac because at first I was a bit skeptical about whether the RoboVac would work properly, but it does a really good job of picking up dirt, um, going around the edges, um, basically replacing a normal vacuum cleaner. It does have the downside of where you have to move things out of the road for it, like chairs, um, you know, toys and things like that. But for me, that's a very little amount of time that you have to do that, and then the RoboVac goes around for an extra hour and cleans the whole floor. So I think it's a small amount of time that you lose um, considering. It also does an even better uh, job on carpets. So downstairs, I used it downstairs and you, you actually saw how much dirt we pulled out after an hour. But I was actually very surprised when I put it in our carpet upstairs in a smaller area. It actually picked up a lot more uh, carpet fibre and things like that that would normally be you know laying around on the carpet. So I would recommend this product to anyone who's sick of doing their weekly grind of going around uh, with their push around vacuum cleaner. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.